Today marks the start of the Texas legislative session. The House today voting to elect Representative Dade Phelan of Beaumont to serve a second term as speaker. He defeated Representative Tony Tinderholt of Arlington. Now this session, lawmakers will decide what to do with the budget as they do every session. This time around, though, they also have something uh, new to work with, a more than $30 billion surplus. By law, a third of that has to go to the rainy day and highway funds. As for the rest of it, Republicans and Democrats agree it should be used to provide some relief on property taxes here in Texas, which are currently the seventh highest in the country. We're hearing loud and clear from people all across the state, both sides of the political aisle, um, suburban, urban, and rural. People are, are struggling to uh, not only afford the cost of living, of course, inflation, the cost of everyday goods, but um, the year-to-year -year growth in their property taxes. So uh, we've got to make sure that we, we slow the rate of growth and actually cut property taxes, which we can and, uh, and I believe will do this session. Over the past several legislative sessions, conservatives have passed some of their top priorities, too. We'll see if they do that again this time around. Uh, in the past, we've seen things like open carry, abortion restrictions, and changes to voting laws getting across the finish line there. WFAA senior political reporter Jason Whiteley is in the Capitol for today's opening session of the Texas legislature. You can look for his updates throughout the day on social media. He's pretty prolific there, uh, and he'll be on our newscasts this evening as well. If you're looking for him on social media, his handle is at Jason Whiteley.